So let's move on. So as part of the target on the nano screen, we first need to get into the data catalog portion of the start menu. That could be accessed by pressing menu and using the Roberto key option to press enter and then scrolling over to the data catalog tab. The data catalog portion of your chart menu gives you access to the system ID number, which is the 20 digit number unique to your NAMN 3D system. It's generated by the master and given to all the other displays in your NAMN 3D system. And it's easy when acquiring chart unlock codes from either your phone dealer or when registering online at www.nasnet.com. In addition to the system ID number, the data catalog portion of the chart menu also gives you access to the total number of memory slots you have occupied. In our case, we have 11 total memory slots full. And the total number of memory slots remaining. In our case, we have 4. So we have plenty of room to load a chart. If your chart memory is full, yet you still need to install some more chart, you can simply go into the chart catalog and remove unwanted charts to make yourself a little bit more room. You can do this by pressing in and entering the data catalog portion of the chart menu. Scrolling down and highlighting the chart catalog in blue and pressing the rotor key one more time. And now you have access to the chart catalog. In this case, we're going to scroll down and we're going to delete one of the West Coast charts to show you how it's going. I've gone down and I found my chart and highlighted it here. I'll press the rotor key once and it will bring up a box and ask me if I want to delete the chart. I'll go and select yes, press enter, and now the chart is gone. Now I've freed up some more, now I have five memory slots remaining and only ten occupied. Now that we've freed up the memory, we can now load our chart in the machine. This can be done through the data catalog portion of the chart menu. To install the data, we first need to insert the SD card into the SD card slot. This is found on the keypads and black box units and on the face plates for the 8 and 12 inch units. To insert your SD card, open the chart slot door. You'll notice that there are two SD card slots. We want to use the upper one for this. Since we've installed the SD card, now we're ready to actually install the data on the LMSD library. This is done through the data catalog portion of the chart menu, which can be accessed by pressing the menu key, accessing charts, scrolling over to your data catalog tab, and pressing the row key once to gain access to the data catalog portion of the menu. Once in the data catalog, use the row key to scroll down to the install data button on your screen and press the row key once. A box will now appear informing you that the program will now exit and initiate the time installation program. It gives you a yes or no option. Use the rotor key to scroll over to my right yes and press enter. Now the program will exit and initiate the child installation program. As you can see here, the child loading is now in process. This will take some time. Once the child is finished loading, you will receive this notification indicating that the child load was successful. To skip past it, simply press the rotor key. In order to use on your chart, you'll need to unlock them. As I mentioned before, unlock codes can be acquired from your local firm of dealer or by registering your NASDAQ on NASDAQ.com. To enter your unlock codes, you'll need to access the data catalog portion of the chart menu. This can be done by pressing menu and using the rotor key to scroll down to select charts. Under the chart menu, scroll over and select data catalog. Press the rotor key for enter and select the chart library window. Press the rotor key one more time because it's highlighted in green, allowing you to select each one of the charts on the list. As you can see, the chart that we just loaded shows up as being locked. To unlock the chart, all we have to do is press the rotor key once and access the drop down menu, giving you two options delete or insert unlock code. Simply scroll down and select insert unlock code and press the rotor key for enter. Now we have our window available to insert our unlock code. This can be done either using a rotor key, a USB mouse, or, as I prefer to do it, with a USB keyboard. Once the unlock codes are entered, you'll notice on the chart library that the status for our chart has now been unlocked. And now you can now 3D charts are installed, unlocked, and ready to use. For all of you black box users out there, Software versions 2.0 Wi-Fi will allow you to use not only an SD card for chart and data loading, but also a USB jump drive as well. The use of the USB jump drive will allow you to load multiple chart satellite photo areas on a single storage device 
rather than multiple cards. I will drastically cut down your load time. So thanks for joining me, and back to you, Jeff. Thanks, Clayton. You're well on your way now to becoming an expert with Navnet 3D Charts. We taught you how to find the charts on the internet, how to download them, format an SD card, put them onto the SD card, and then upload them to your Navnet 3D system. It's important to remember that we are constantly updating the charts, the satellite photos, and the 3D bathymetric data. So go to navnet.com, register your product, and you will receive updates when we have new charts. Thanks for joining us.